Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know, I hear a lot of uh, traditional Windows users, power users like me, uh, complain that uh, the Mac and, and the Finder in Mac OS X doesn't show enough. And to a certain degree, they're right. Hides a lot of data from average users. Of course, there's uh, Pathfinder, which is, I would say, the best Finder replacement on Mac OS X. Very, 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 very much uh, built for people like you and me, power users. I have a registered copy of, of Pathfinder at Shareware. Um, but there's a, a little hint I wanted to share with everybody uh, just to kind of explain the way that uh, the Mac does things with applications compared to Windows. Like on Windows, you have an .exe file, that's all it is. It's got the .exe file, and then somewhere there may be a DLL associated with it, and that can cause problems. Well, with Mac applications, a program, an application, is usually a .app file, and it's actually a series of files that come bundled together inside a package. And if you right-click, because yes, you can right-click on a Mac, and if that's too much for you, you can also control left-click, and that is essentially a right-click in case you don't have a, a right mouse button. Who, know, who knows? Maybe you do. Maybe you're crazy. Uh, I have a right mouse button even here on the Mighty Mouse. You just can't see it because Apple's made it invisible. I really like this thing. Believe it or not, after using Microsoft Mice for years, I really like this thing. If you right-click any app, any program, any application in Mac OS X, you will get an item in that menu. This is your right-click menu, and it'll say Show Package Contents. And when you select that, what it will do is it will allow you to peek inside the contents of that application. And you will find all the icons and the, the uh, pings and the, uh, you know, uh, well, everything that that application needs to run sitting inside that app. It just comes all together in one nice little package. So there's a hint for you. So you, you can't sit there and say, well, it just doesn't show you anything. You just, just kind of got to know where to look. Now, if you are into knowing more and, and being really, 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 you know, geeky, I guess, uh, you can install something called Finder Pop. And uh, this is really, I, I guess, only for people like you and me, geeks, power users. When you install Finder Pop, it will add a couple of items to your context menu. And that's your right-click menu. Uh, including, and let me see if I can if I can do this uh, cleanly. Sometimes when I zoom in, it'll jump around. Uh, if I right-click my desktop now, I get a couple of items at the top. One includes desktop, and the second one includes processes. This is Finder Pop. It adds these items. So now, with Finder Pop installed, and by the way, it's freeware from FinderPop.com, I can get a list of running processes at any given time simply by, you know, right-clicking the desktop and going to processes. In fact, I can reveal that particular process in the Finder, its location on my hard drive uh, by clicking the command button or holding onto it if the, uh, the uh, uh, cursor turns into a little magnifying glass. I can also get uh, information about that particular object uh, by holding onto option and command, and it pops up like the kind is a folder, created, modified permissions, you know, detailed information. Uh, it's kind of like getting information without really doing anything other than just a simple click. And if I want, I could click on an app uh, in the finder and, uh, you know, look and browse its contents. Uh, you know, without necessarily, you know, viewing the contents, much like I get the cascading menu automatically, I could do the same thing uh, now with a Finder Pop extension installed for any other application. It just makes it easier to get to the information. That's all. I mean, it's it's not going to do anything really new or different for you other than doing this. Uh, and if you guys uh, couldn't tell, uh, I can also navigate my hard drives or any particular disk that's connected uh, to my system. Um, I could, you know, get, these are the files that are sitting on my desktop, these are the drives on my system, and then I get cascading menus and I can browse the, uh, the files that are available on those particular drives. All just from clicking, pretty much anywhere. Like on the desktop or in a finder window, you can configure it any way you want. It just installs a, 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 a preference pane, and the preference pane is, think of it like a control panel applet, because it sits inside your system preferences. So, I mean, really, uh, is it different from Windows? Yeah, I guess. But 
it a lot of things work differently, but you know, they're files, folders, objects, they're just managed differently. And when you find tools like Finder Pop that make it easier to manage running processes, uh, to, to manage uh, you know, information uh, or files, then, then you've really got nothing to lose. You know, give it a shot, you can turn it on or off at will. It's free, finderpop.com. Uh, I also want to ask uh, if you guys know of well, equivalent shell extensions for Windows. I know there were a few of them that I uh, really, really liked that you know stopped being developed a few years ago. Uh, I don't know what happened to the developers. They just kind of lost interest. Uh, quite a few useful shell extensions actually are still available for Windows that can enhance uh, the file management experience within Explorer. But not since Norton Commander have I really liked an Explorer replacement. And I tried them all. I did. I tried them all. Uh, just either they were designed very poorly or they just didn't have, you know, very good performance. Which is something you really can't complain about with Finder Pop because it only shows up when you, you know, right click something or pull up a context menu. So there's really nothing running necessarily unless you need to see it kind of thing. You know, it's running in the background, obviously, because it's got to know when to pop up, but... Anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. If you know of any other extensions that can enhance the experience for OS X, Windows, Linux, let me know. Uh, you know I'm a uh, try operating system kind of guy. What's the word for that? Cross-platform, I guess? That just doesn't sound geeky. Cross-platform. Maybe it is geeky. I don't know. Anyway, you're welcome to join us in the chat room. We've got a whole bunch of software addicts hanging out. And they're always talking about their favorite finds, whether they be freeware or shareware. So feel free to, you know, pop in and, you know, find us there. Find or pop, find us popping in, or we'll find you popping when you pop into the chat room that's, you know, pretty much streaming live 24 hours a day in conjunction with this live video feed. See, I'm recording this video live and you probably didn't even know that. Of course, when you're watching this, when it's been recorded, it's no longer live, but that's the beauty of recording live. So next time, maybe you can be a part of the live video at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.